Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So basically I asked for my Instagram the other day. Oh my God, it's so hot in here. I actually can't even deal. I just had a coffee, I'm sweating. But I asked on my Instagram what you guys wanted to see on YouTube. And surprisingly a lot of, well not really that surprisingly, but a lot of people said beauty still. Even though I kind of wear the same makeup basically every day and my beauty look has not really changed that much. And I'm pretty basic when it comes to my beauty routine. Well, not really my beauty routine, my beauty looks. Anyway, yeah, a lot of people wanted beauty. So I thought, why not just film me doing my makeup today? I did my hair off camera. I'll kind of talk through what I used uh, to do it because it's a little bit different to what I usually, or how I usually wear it. And I like it. Very voluminous, but yeah, I'm going to get straight into the video. The heat with all of this hair on my back is like a blanket. I can't. <sighs> Sorry if the light's a little bit weird. I'm using a natural light. I'm going to move y'all in. Okay, so to start, I'm going to use this primer. It's from... I think it's Hylamide is the name of the brand. And basically just, I'm using such a small amount. Kind of fills in pores and like uneven texture on the skin. I've been loving it recently. And I just put it like in the center of my face because obviously I don't need like any of it out here type of thing. But center around here where your pores are kind of open. It makes your skin just look really flawless. I also just got my hair done the other day. So yeah, I'm in the mood to kind of do a bit of you know, nice makeup now that I'm feeling better about myself. Did my tan last night, painted my nails, even though they're already chipped. Yeah, feeling good. Then I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is in shade four. And then this is the It Cosmetics um, foundation brush, which number is this? Number seven. It's so good. It's way too warm, I can't wait for winter. Now that I look even more sweaty with my glowy primer on, I'm gonna move on to foundation. Also guys, can I just say, I've moved all of my makeup into these drawers. Look at all the fingerprints, I need to wipe them down. That's all of my makeup, whereas before, my makeup was literally all of these drawers. So I went through it all, donated loads, gave some to my family. It's actually so much easier getting ready with less products. Like, I didn't even use half the stuff, so. I'm gonna use NARS. I'm gonna use the, which one is this? All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in the shade Medium 3 Stromboli. This is actually really nice because it gives really good coverage, but it doesn't look heavy or cakey on the skin. I can't even open my window in case a wasp um, or a bee flies in. Welcome to my life. I might open that door until everyone comes home because when the lads come home, they're gonna be so loud, but I'm gonna open I need air. <gasps> Why do I look really pale? I'm most definitely not pale right now, so I don't know why I look pale. Haven't actually got a good concealer. Well, I have concealers, but none in like a shade that I really like at the moment. They're either like too like pinky undertone or they're too light. And they don't have the shades that I like. So I need to like get all of my favorite ones back. This one's really nice. It's the Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer in 20W wipe. It's just really light look I'll show. Like it's way too light. It's gonna even an eight on my face. So I usually mix it with, this one's really nice actually, the Charlotte Tilbury one, but I got shade five and I kind of want shade three, it's a little bit lighter. I'm gonna mix it with my Catrice in shade 20 cause it's a little bit darker, just to kind of take the starkness away. And uh, you know the drill, I use a lot of concealer. I might even do a winged liner. I haven't done it in a while. A while being like three years, but we'll see. This is literally, I, I like lash on my makeup now. And then a damp beauty blender. I don't know if some of you remember if you followed me for a while on Instagram. I got sent like a big press delivery of the beauty blenders and like a massive beauty blender. If I can find pictures of it all inserted here. I think it might have been like two years ago and there was easily 50 beauty blenders. And this is the last one. I'm only finishing them now. That is, I have not bought a beauty blender since that press drop. That Catrice concealer is so nice, but um, where did I get it? I get it in pennies. I definitely have gotten it in pharmacies before, but not all pharmacies have it. So if anyone knows where you can pick it up, comment down below the lighting. It's gonna take a while for this to adjust. Yeah, comment down below, cause especially anyone in Galway, if you know where I can get it in pharmacies, let me know. Cause they don't always have the 015 in stock in pennies. Right, next I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier powder. This is literally the only powder I use on my face. It's so good. So I'm gonna use the damp beauty blender and dip it in here. I always bake underneath and like around the sides of my nose so it doesn't get oily. Also, if you want your makeup to stay on like a sunny, sweaty day like today, powder is the way forward. And then I use a brush. This is Zoeva 106 and just use a little bit on the rest of my face. And I actually bring it on my chest a bit too because 
if you've brought foundation on your chest, you kind of want to set it there as well. See, now I'm feeling lazy and I don't really want to do the winged eyeliner already. I haven't even got to the eyes yet. Okay, I'm going to use a Fenty bronzer. So this one is in the shade Island Ting. And then look at the little brush that I use. It's the Charlotte Tilbury um, bronzer brush. But I actually like that it's smaller because I can fit it in my handbag and it doesn't take up as much room. This is literally how quick I do my bronzer and like I don't even try on my makeup anymore, it's so bad. I think just because when I was younger I tried so much and like spent so long doing my makeup that now I'm just like I actually can't anymore. That light's kind of annoying on my face, is it? I'll move over. And then I kind of bring it on my eyelids, into my temples, all like this. And then for my hairline because I was told before by my hair stylist that my bronzer is staining my hair. So I'm very conscious of that now. And it's hard to get into the blonde hairline without like making your hair look orange. So I use a little eyeshadow pencil with the bronzer. I'm just kind of like tap it in. And then I bring a little bit under my lip because that acts as like a little shadow. Makes your lips up bigger underneath your nose here. See, I look tanned here now, I think. It's always hard to tell. I also tinted my brows recently. So hence why they kind of look a bit better than usual. But I did get like this at home brow lamination kit and I used it. It was all right, it didn't really do much to my eyebrows, but I'm gonna try it again. Maybe I didn't leave it in long enough. But what do we think about like laminated brows? I love them on some people and then others, I think it looks too OTT. And I just don't know how it's gonna look on me because I never really wear my brows up. But I like the look. I don't think I'm like natural enough for that look, if you know what I mean? Because you kind of have to have like not that much product on your skin, nothing in your brows. You know, that's just not me. I also put on that poll on my Instagram that I mentioned at the start of the video um, when I asked what content people want to see. I said like vlogs just because I love watching vlogs. I feel like I've kind of exhausted all beauty things. Obviously, I'll throw in a few beauty like videos too because naturally I'm into it. But like makeup looks, I don't really go crazy with my makeup looks. I don't like for me, I don't watch crazy makeup looks anymore because I don't wear them the other way. So I kind of more, like more natural ones are just like more wearable looks products that people are kind of using but then if i do that you know you get the comments being like oh your looks look the same i'm like i know pretty basic i use the nars blush in thrill which is really light pink but i actually really really love it it's not that intense on and then i'm going to use the jouer rose gold highlighter i don't know if it's my face but my highlighter highlighter never shows up on camera like in person I can catch it. I just don't think I have that like chiseled face to kind of show it from the side. Now I don't have a great side profile so we're not going to show it from the side. And then I bring it on my nose above my eyebrow in this little section here. I don't bring it too high up here or too far down here. It just doesn't see my face. Okay I'm actually going to do this now because I usually forget. I'm gonna spray my face now before I put on my mascara and eye makeup because otherwise if I spray my face at the end my mascara starts to like stain up here so I'm using the Fenty Beauty um what's this called what it do basically because I wear a lot of powder I need a lot of spray to make it like kind of melt back into the skin and just so it doesn't look powdery when it's on your face. Any setting spray, NYX have really good one as well. I like this one, it has really fine mist, so it doesn't like get chunky on your skin. Sometimes you can see like droplets from some of them. This one has a really nice spray on it, so. Even get it once and then, oh, I don't know if you can reuse this. Yeah, you can reuse it. Thank me later. I'm gonna use the Benefit Clear Brow Gel. I have soap brows. Just, I don't know guys, I just don't think that they suit me. Like I said, I think you need to have like no product at all on your face or your brows and it's just, it's not me. So I'm gonna try the brow lamination again. Let me know if you want me to vlog it when I do it the next time. So when that brow gel is drying, I'm gonna move on to my eyes and then I'll fill in my brows when the brow gel has right. So a palette that I actually love is the Urban Decay Naked Honey. These colors are just so me. See all those like warm brainy ones? Love them. I use this a lot. It's actually, you know, MAC Uninterrupted, that eyeshadow that everyone loves. This one's pretty similar, Bobbi Brown Camel. And it's those kind of tones in here, like this one here called Keeper is very similar to it, you can see. So yeah, I love this. I'm gonna use, oh my brushes are actually so dirty. Like any bit of makeup artist in me is just completely gone. Like I just have no hygiene, never really clean my brushes anymore. It's so bad. I need to do that this week actually. But I'm gonna use the shade Keeper all over my lid. This is literally what I do 
every day. And then I'm using a Morphe M433 brush, but any kind of, this is like the MAC 217 brush, that kind of style. Do you know what the problem is? Do you know what the problem is as well? If I do makeup look, I can never get a good picture or like a thumbnail. It's just, I can't do it. I don't know how these people take really good makeup pictures. I never have been good at taking pictures in general, like even like outfit pictures, any, I'm not, I don't actually like taking pictures of myself, but because of what I do, like I just have to like it and get on with it, but I'm bad at it. I'm not comfortable with it. And like, if I have to do full body outfit picture, good luck, I'm just so awkward. Like I can't, I, can't, I actually cringe even thinking about me trying to do a full body outfit thing. Even when I'm trying to do like clothing hauls, I'm like, just don't do it any justice, it's so bad. I'm in my pajamas. Okay, I'm gonna just take, this is the Inglot 4SS brush and it's absolutely massive. It's like a giant, the lighting's so weird. Where is this coming from? Ah, come here. It's like a giant um, blending brush and it just softens everything. See, usually I'm kind of, this is it. Bit of brown eyeshadow along the lash line and I'm done. But I feel as though my last video was basically that, so, um. I have the pressure on myself now to do something different, but like I don't do anything different, so I don't know what to show you guys. So let me know in comments down below what you want to see. I'm going to use the brow, uh, precisely my brow from Benefit in shade 4 and just fill in any gaps. I'm kind of angry at myself because I just fake tanned my upper body last night. I know it's so sunny out today and I'm absolutely sweating, but like I don't have tan on my lower body to wear a skirt or anything that's like airy and suitable for this weather, so... I'm gonna have to wear instant tan and then I'm gonna sweat it all off. I usually do my brows myself, can't remember the last time I got them done. Before uh, lockdown and everything, I thought I used to just kind of fill them in and then ask them to thread around the shape that I'd filled in. And then I was waxing them myself at home, but because I'm using retinol, PSA, do not wax your eyebrows if you're using retinol. Because I completely ripped the skin off my face. It was so raw, it was so stingy, like literally water was sore on my skin. So yeah, don't do it. And if you're going to get your eyebrows done, let them know if you're using retinol. So what I do is I just take a dark brown eyeshadow and I really messy just apply it along my lashes. And I also find that this kind of adds definition to the eyes without being like as intense as liquid eyeliner. It's just softer and it kind of makes your lashes and... What was I saying? I get so distracted. It makes your lashes look thicker as well just so much quicker too. This is literally what I do every single day. Every single day. And my time, it's the exact same. And I've completely gone off the idea of putting gel or liquid eyeliner on my eyes. Sorry, sorry, maybe the next time, but I just, it's too, it's too sweaty for liquid eyeliner today. Like it's gonna be gone. So I'm gonna use just a brown pencil in my upper waterline. And that also makes your lashes look a little bit thicker. I don't know if that's gonna show up, but this just adds the definition while still remaining soft and i never ever ever put mascara on my lower lashes i actually should do a video of like how i don't do my makeup not like how not to do makeup because i know they're really popular but like things that i just don't do so like cream contour or mascara on my lower lashes just to show you that it really does not suit me it just like drags my eye i don't like the shape it gives this mascara is the benefit roller lash mascara and i've been using this actually since they've launched it i kind of go on and off it which was years ago, by the way. And it is honestly the best mascara. Although I see all these like young, really good looking girls on TikTok with amazing lashes and they all use the L'Oreal teles Telescopic. And my friend used to swear by that when we were younger. So I'm kind of tempted to pick it up. I think it's like maybe a tenner, but it's the same type of brush, that kind of like plastic firm brush. But I mean, I probably just want to look like the girls from TikTok really. Let's be real. By the way, when I lean into the light, my face does look paler, okay? When I come back here, it all blends in because I get that comment a lot, well, I used to when I did more makeup tutorials, be like, your face does not match your body, okay? They're the same color, maybe a little bit lighter because I do use a light concealer, but when I go like this and I'm in the light, it makes it look completely different, just, just so we know. Do you ever get like stages where your eyelashes just shed and fall out and then you just have gaps so these lashes are fine but these lashes over here like i'm missing a big gap here where obviously like if you decided to shed then it makes your eyes look different shapes and like uneven Alrighty, then moving on to lips still feel like i need more bronzer but if i go back here i don't so just stop i love the charlotte tilbury iconic nude but it's actually too dark for me. Like I, 
I find it really hard to find a nude lip that suits me because anything too dark just looks really intense and like, I don't know, makes my features look kind of, I don't know, doesn't suit me. I'm gonna put more brow gel on by the way, <laughs> just to like push these up a bit more. So I don't know if I should do pillow talk or if I should do iconic nude. I'm gonna do iconic nude because I never use it. Ooh. Also, I'm an idiot because I just realized that I have new products from the Inglot Mora range. So the lipstick and the eyeshadow palette and I could have used that for this video. So I'm kind of raging, I'm not gonna lie. But this is the finished look. Pretty similar to how I usually wear my makeup, just with a different um, lip liner. And I use the Mora Tempt Me lipstick in the center of my lips. See what I mean that I feel like this lip liner is kind of too dark on me or what do we think? I feel like it's a little bit dark but anyway my hair i love how my hair has gone straight underneath from the sweat on the back of my neck that's fab so this is the finished makeup um i did say i was going to tell you what i did with my hair so basically for my hair i used this here this is the andrew fitzsimons uh, curlers from pennies primark career in the uk and it's 14 euro so this is what he used when he did my hair for the launch of the products which i'll insert a picture here so i'd already seen it being used and i knew it was good but when i used it myself then you can really kind of tell 14 euro this is so good. They also have, or he also has a hair straightener and a hair dryer, which I actually just got sent the uh, press drop today. So I got sent another one of these just to prove that I actually bought that one myself. This is the one I just got sent and this is the one I used. 14 euro. Like young girls nowadays do not know the struggle of wanting a good hair tool and having to wait years or like save up for ages or like their mom telling them no because it's too expensive. I use no hairspray, I never use hairspray and it kind of like gives you this wave. So it's a smaller barrel that I usually use and I actually like it. Um, especially if you've got shorter, shorter hair, the smaller barrel's easier to kind of get a curl on it. And then also a hair dryer that looks really similar to my one that was a lot more expensive. This is 14 euro as well. But what I use to kind of give my hair more volume or texture, I should say, is the Andrew Fitzsimons texture spray. And I basically just went like this. I have my Beauty Works clip-in extensions in, in the shade Bohemian Blonde. But if you're looking for a lot of volume, this texture spray, it just like oomphs up your hair, but it kind of gives a bit of hold as well. Love it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Leave comments down below what videos I need to film because I can't think of any. Not sure if you still want to see beauty videos, if you want to see vlogs, more hauls, let me know. And yeah, that's it from me. Bye. Actually, I just thought of a good video and it's how to recreate the look that Andrew Fitzsimons did on my hair using his products because he did that like wet look or wet wave look in my hair and I absolutely loved it. And it's almost like a treatment for your hair as well. So, so easy to do. I'm pretty sure anyone can do it. Let me know if you want to see that. There's hair literally all in my mouth. I need to go.